Facebook has been tormented into creating counterfeit non-existent proof that Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential race, after a managed composed assault by predominant press. Robert Perry of Consortium New simply distributed an essential article pummeling the Washington Post's weak endeavor at attempting to influence per users that Russia interfered in the race. For this situation, by obtaining a small $100,000 of Facebook advertisements. LibertyBlitzkrieg.com reports, The Washington Post, which has a background marked by erroneously guaranteeing certain option media sites work for the Kremlin, is claimed by extremely rich person Jeff Bezos, originator and CEO of Amazon, which has a $600 million contract with the CIA. With regards to Russia delirium, the paper is in its very own class. What takes after are some key passages from Perry's piece, Post pushes more dubious Russia bashing. You should read the whole thing and offer. A few people are calling the counter-Russian mania being thrown together over the U.S. standard news media another brilliant time of American newscasting, despite the fact that it looks to me more like another time of yellow newscasting, preparing the general population for more military spending, more data fighting and more genuine war. I realize that a few people feel that the confirmation light or potentially false assertions about Russian intruding are the brilliant ticket to Trump's indictment. In any case, the amateurish conduct of the New York Times, the Washington Post and essentially the whole prevailing press in regards to Russia door can't be appropriately supported by the objective of expelling Trump from office. The U.S. predominant press has obviously joined the counter-Trump resistance and detests Russian President Vladimir Putin as well. In this way, we are given such tragedies of newscasting as showed up as a pennant feature over the front page of Monday's Washington Post, another screed about how Russia as far as anyone knows utilized Facebook promotions to flip last November's decision for Trump. The article implies to give within story of how Facebook belatedly grasped how the organization's informal community assumed a key part in the U.S. race. In any case it is a tale about how capable government officials harassed Facebook into concocting something, anything, to help the account of Russian intruding, including direct mediations by President Obama and Senator Chuck Warner of Virginia, the positioning Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee and a key administrator with respect to control of cutting-edge ventures. As such, Facebook was sent back over and over to discover what Obama and Warner needed the online networking organization to discover. In the long run, Facebook transformed up $100,000 in promotions from 2015 into 2017 that as far as anyone knows were followed by one means or another to Russia. These promotions clearly tended to political issues in America in spite of the fact that Facebook has said most did not relate straightforwardly to the presidential race and a few advertisements were obtained after the race. Let well enough alone for the Post's most recent creation is the thing that the little rock these advertisements were, notwithstanding accepting that Russians tossed the $100,000 or so in promotion gets tied up with a huge pool of billions of dollars in U.S. political spending for the 2016 decision cycle. It additionally sums to a minuscule portion of Facebook's $27 billion in yearly income. So the declaration this claimed intruding, and we've yet to perceive any proof interfacing these promotions to the Russian government assumed a key part in the U.S. decision is both senseless and over-the-top, particularly given the dangers engaged with feeding enmities between atomic-furnished Russia and atomic-outfitted America. Indeed, even the Post's scaremonger article quickly recognizes that it is as yet Misty who purchased the promotions, alluding to the buyers as suspected Russian agents. At the end of the day, we don't realize that the $100,000 in advertisements more than three years originated from Russians looking to impact the U.S. race. By correlation, numerous Facebook publicists, even some independent ventures, burn through $100,000 every day on their advertisements, not $100,000 more than three years. Monday's Post report just affirms the claim as level truth. Or, then again as the article declares. What Russian agents posted on Facebook was, generally, indistinct from honest-to-goodness political discourse. The distinction was the records that were set up to spread the deception and abhor ill-conceived. Independable newscasting, 
such an allegation would be trailed by a for example, giving a case of the falsehood and loath that the Russian agents, take note of how they have been mysteriously changed from suspected Russian agents to just Russian agents, were dispersing. To be sure, what has appeared in the article is regularly conflicting to the story's decision. The article says, for example, a survey by the organization found that the vast majority of the gatherings behind the dangerous pages had clear money-related thought processes, which proposed that they weren't working for an outside government. However, in the midst of the mass of information the organization was investigating, the security group did not discover clear proof of Russian disinformation or advertisement buys by Russian connected records. Along these lines, Facebook at first, after broad looking, did not discover confirmation of a Russian operation. At that point, after proceeded with weight from abnormal state Democrats, Facebook kept on scouring its framework and again discovered nothing, or as the Post article recognized, Facebook had hunted broadly down proof of outside buys of political promoting however had missed the mark. That incited Warner to fly out to Silicon Valley to bind by press Facebook administrators to concoct the confirmation to help the Democrats' hypothesis about Russia pain for precisely focused on hostile to Clinton promotions in key areas. The Post's article announced that at long last, Facebook chief security officer Alex Stamos spoke to Warner for help. If U.S. knowledge organizations had any data about the Russian operation or the troll ranches it used to spread deception, they should impart it to Facebook. The organization is as yet holding up, individuals associated with the issue said. In the event that the setting of this story were changed marginally, say, it was about the U.S. government endeavoring to impact popular conclusion in another nation, which really happens a lot. The Post would be among the primary news outlets to ignore such affirmations or expel the dubious allegations as a paranoid fear, yet since these charges fit with the partialities of the Post's editors, an altogether unique arrangement of journalistic measures is connected. What the article additionally overlooks is the remarkable level of intimidation that such abnormal state political weight can put on an organization that perceives its helplessness to government direction. At the end of the day, Another approach to have surrounded this story is that effective government officials who could seriously hurt Facebook's plan of action were getting even with Facebook administrators and basically requesting that they concoct a comment the Democratic Party's hypothesis of Russian intruding. Careerist writers comprehend that there is no threat in running with the pack, to be sure, there is well-being in numbers. However there are uncommon dangers to your profession in the event that you challenge the customary way of thinking regardless of the possibility that you end up being correct. As one foundation writer once let me know, there's no respect in being correct too early. Along these lines, for the Post columnists in charge of the most recent journalistic infringement of gauges, Adamantus, Elizabeth Doskin and Craig Timberg, there will be no punishment for the offense of telling about Russia's affirmed disinformation and phony news, as opposed to appearing, that is, giving real illustrations. With regards to Russia nowadays, as with the Viet Cong in the 1960s or Iraq in 2002-03, you can essentially compose whatever you need. Every single journalistic standard are no more. The most concerning piece of the article? which Perry accurately features, is the way that Facebook searched for a considerable length of time and couldn't discover anything. At that point it abruptly thinks of something for frantic government officials to point to following quite a while of wait. For instance, this is what the Washington Post itself noted in its piece. The degree of Facebook's inward self-examination turned out to be clear in April when Facebook Chief Security Officer Alex Stamos co-wrote a 13-page white paper specifying the consequences of a sprawling exploration exertion that included contribution from specialists from over the organization, who at times likewise attempted to manufacture new programming pointed particularly at distinguishing remote promulgation. Strikingly, Stamos' paper did not raise the point of political publicizing, an exclusion that was seen by Capitol Hill specialists. Facebook, worth $495 million, is the biggest web-based promoting organization on the planet after Google. Despite the fact that not specified unequivocally in the report, Stamos Group had looked broadly for proof of remote buys of political publicizing however had missed the mark. 
Half a month after the French decision, Warner flew out to California to visit Facebook face to face. It was an open door for the representative to press Stamos straightforwardly on whether the Russians had utilized the organization's devices to disperse against Clinton advertisements to key areas. Authorities said Stamos underlined to Warner the extent of the test Facebook confronted policing political substance that looked genuine. Stamos revealed to Warner that Facebook had discovered no records that utilized promoting yet concurred with the representative that some likely existed. The trouble for Facebook was discovering them. For a considerable length of time, a group of designers at Facebook had been seeking through records, searching for signs that they were set up by agents taking a shot at sake of the Kremlin. The assignment was colossal. Warner's visit impelled the organization to M.